Welcome to this introduction to verification policies with Vault ID. So what are verification policies? They are rule sets that outline the criteria a credential must meet to be considered a valid credential. And this can include like rules from who the issuer is, what the information in the credential must contain, or how recent the information is in the credential. The greatest benefit you get with verification policies is more efficiency because they enable a streamlined, adoptable and efficient credential verification process, accommodating various credential types, use cases from simple to complex. What kind of policies do we offer? We have predefined static policies that are ready to use policies designed for common use cases. So you don't have to worry about building your own. And they include policies such as the signature policy or JSON schema policy. And next to the static policies, there come the parameterized policies, which require parameters and arguments for the execution and thereby giving you more flexibility because you can adjust the verification easily to meet your needs. And for more complex scenarios, you can just come and build your own custom static or parameterized policy using one of our policy execution en engines like the open policy agent and the Rego language. And thereby you have complete control over what conditions you want to have included in the policy for the verification. And the great thing is that the policies blend seamlessly into our whole product suit. So you can use them on all the ecosystems we support and also on all the different languages we support. And no matter where you want to store your data, you are super flexible with our different storage options. And if you need something which our tools don't yet support, you have the full flexibility to extend them with our modular architecture and our open source model through the Apache tool license. Let's now jump over and see everything in a quick demo on how you can create and use policies in WaldID's toolset. Now in my terminal, where I have the latest version of the WaldID SSI kit running, I will use the CLI tool to issue myself a credential and then verify the credential. So first I need to get a DIT for the credential issuance. I will now quickly issue myself a verifiable credential providing the issuer, the subject, then the proof type, LD proof, and the template verifiable ID and the interactive mode so I can easily provide the data and I will save it in my vc.json. And now with the credential issued, I can verify it using our predefined policy, the signature policy, which will be executed by default on any verification request. So if I just type SSI kit vc verify and then provide the path to my now just created vc, we will see that it will run the signature policy and also see that this signature was valid and therefore the verification is true. Let's now jump over to the REST interface where we create our own custom policy and then use it to verify a credential against. In order to get access to our REST API, we can run SSI kit and then serve. That will bring up our API and now we need a few things. So first I have the signatory API, which we will be using to import our template. So our VC template, if you haven't checked out the video about VC templates, you can click the info button below to check that out. After we've then imported the template, we can issue a credential based on that template and then do a verification. So let's now quickly see how that looks like. The VC template will be employee ID credential template where we have an ID which will be the DIT, a name and a role and a joining date. And then our custom policy, which will also be a parameterized policy. So you see how, how that works, but you could also build it as a fixed policy that will, will look like this. So it's the Rego language. And at the end, we will take a JSON input with a field of role, and that will be checked against the credential subject role value. So this one right here. And what we could do to make this not a, parameterized policy, but a static one, we could 
just remove that and check against, let's say, uh, engineer and rename that policy to is engineer. Let's now go quickly over to our API again and create our policy. And herefore, we go to the auditor API and the create a dynamic policy endpoint. And here we simply specify the name if it should be updatable, which is true. So we can overwrite it later. Download, we don't need because we provide the policy right here in the body and then the policy, which is simply the name and input, which is empty and our policy. And then if we execute, we will create this policy. And now the next thing is to create a credential based on our template. But before we need to make sure we have the template available. And I already used that endpoint to import the template. So we can already go ahead and do that. If you want to learn more, check out the other video. So let's issue now our credential. And here I simply provide in the body the template. So employee ID, then my issue and subject it and the credential subject and the role engineer. So let's execute and we will get back a JSON web token, which is another form format of a credential. We have also the LD proof and you can also simply put that in the chart.io and see that it actually is, is the credential. So here we have all, all this data. And now let's verify that with the auditor API. And herefore, I simply go to verify and provide again the policies. So here, a list of policies. First, the signature policy I want to execute on a credential. And now our new custom policy, which is the is role policy, and our argument, which is role and engineer. And then the credential. So yeah, I could also list here multiple credentials, but I just paste this one. And now if we see, we get back true. So the signature policy was passed as well as the is row policy. So start today and verify your first VC using predefined and custom policies. Visit waldid slash SSI kit or go directly to our docs to get started. Happy building and see you next time.